Panel tracking is a function in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro that lets you automatically keep track of changes that you've made into the storyboard over time, which can be very, very helpful when you've made a lot of revisions and you have to put artwork back into animatic or you want to isolate the images that have changed. So the way that you enable panel tracking is to go to storyboard, find this label that says panel tracking, and I set it to auto tracking mode. And what that does is that anytime I make a change on an image from this point on, it's going to sort of tag that image. So I'm going to erase his thumb right there. And then I will draw a new thumb in. And now as I move to the next panel, all of a sudden this panel has a yellow border around it that none of the others do. So let me show you that again. I will go to this panel and make a change. Let's say that I want to erase one of these tiers. I mean, these are super inconsequential changes, but it helps illustrate the point. All right, now that I've made that change, I move to the next panel. And this one also, when I've clicked on another panel, I can see that it has a yellow outline. So the way that those panel tracking can be really helpful is if I now want to output some of this work to, uh, let's say I want to output it to bitmap, I could go to export bitmap and now I have the opportunity instead of I don't want to output everything because I've already done it. I just want to output the brand new images. So here I will check tracked panels instead of exporting all or selected scenes or current panels. I'll select track panels and it even tells me that there's two of them. And so I will press export. And so I will give this a new name. I'll call it tutorial revised and then press export. And those two images have now joined my folder of outputs press OK, close. And so it will continue keeping track of these panels, of the new panels, as long as I want it to. But when I want to acknowledge that I've already printed them out, I can go to Storyboard, Panel Tracking, and then Validate Changes. And it notes that there have been changes, that there's two panels found. The one that's highlighted here is panel one of two. Then I can go to the next, and you can see it highlights this one, which is panel two of two. So for me to acknowledge that, yes, they've been changed, and I no longer want to track those changes, all I have to do is press Validate Scene, and now that scene has been validated, and it's no longer being tracked. As you can see, it no longer has that yellow border around it. But now, this panel... I could do the same thing, or if you have many, many panels, you could just press Validate All. When you Validate All, we're done. Everything that I have output has now had the tracking take off, taken off of it because I don't need to keep track of it anymore. You can also track these changes by date. If you go to Storyboard and Panel Tracking, Track Changes by Date, then you can actually search by the date that people have worked on this project and then find the panels. In this case, all of these panels were changed during this date range. But in any case, you have the opportunity to change your date range and track panel changes by date also. So when you're working on a big production and also many different people have worked on a uh, storyboard, that kind of panel tracking can be very convenient. You just want to make sure that panel tracking, that the auto tracking mode is on and you can tell it is because it has a check mark next to it.